Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well in this video today we're going to be using the fantastic Divi Supreme modules plugin to create a cookie consent form. You see them on a lot of sites nowadays. So if I refresh this page you can see the cookie consent form pop up on the bottom and you can just click the got it to say OK. Really easy to do with Supreme module, so let's get started. First thing you want to make sure you've got done, if you go to your dashboard, once you've got Divi Supreme Pro installed, go ahead and click on it. And in the general settings, we want to make sure we've got enable Divi pop-up, switch to the on position, the purple button right there. Once you flip that to on, we'll be in able to use pop-ups just about everywhere on our site. Just save the changes. If you don't do this, this will not work today. Okay, well let's go back to our site. And what I'm going to do is just build the little pop-up section that I want to use today. So I'm going to enable the visual builder. Okay, now the builder is loaded. Let's go down and create our section. I'll just create it down here, I guess. I'm going to create a row, a little green button right there. I'm going to have it sort of two thirds and a third. And I also want to make that row full width. So before I actually put anything in there, I'm going to go into the row tab, which is the green one. Go to the settings. I'm going to go to design, sizing, and where it says width, I want to take that up to 100%. Copy the 100% and paste it down below, or type it in, whichever works for you, whichever works for you. Hit the save. We've now got a full width row. And while we're in here, let's give our row a little background color. So again, in the cog settings for the row, I'm going to give it a background color. Now let's choose something fairly bright. It's going to get eyeballs on it. There we go. And of course, that's entirely up to you. Now, I'm going to add a simple text module over here that says we use cookies or whatever it is you want to say about your cookie statement. I'll just use a simple text module for this. There we go. I'm going to delete what they've got in there and put in my own version, which is simply we use cookies to continue using this site. You can send to their use. Very simple. Obviously, put in whatever makes sense to you. I want to align this in the middle. Let's go to our design. I could have done it there, but let's just go to our design, to our text. I want to make it light in color. There's the middle alignment. Let's make it light in color. It's a lot easier to see. You can make it a little bit bigger, I guess. That's fine. Okay, and let's simply add a button in this other one. As you can see, Divi comes with all these light gray modules as standard, plenty enough to get you building just about any site. The darker purpley bluey ones are the Divi Supreme modules, adds another 40 or so modules. But today we're just going to use a simple Divi button. And there it is right there. And let's say OK or got it, whatever you want to say. Link, I'll just put in a, a hashtag because it's not actually going to link to anything. It's just going to do the I accept cookies thing. And when we make it that sort of pop up, it'll tell our browser that we do consent to cookies. All right. And let's just move this so we can see. And let's just put our button in the middle. So design alignment. There we go. Great. Save that. Now, I don't want this bar too deep, so I probably want to take the padding down a little bit on this text right here. And you can simply grab the top, or you can go inside the module and physically add the padding. And let's just take a little bit away from top and bottom. Again, I'm just grabbing the top line there. Now I'm grabbing the bottom line, holding my left button down putting it kind of where we want it. I think that's going to work. Right, 
So what we need to do now that we've actually got this is save it. We've got to save it to our library to make this work. So over here on our row, this we want to save the whole row and contents. A little round icon just to the left of the trash icon. Left click. We'll save this to the library. I'll call it cookie. And hit the save to library. Great. Now we've got it saved. I can delete it because I don't want it sitting on our page here. Okay. Let's save our changes and exit the visual builder. Now to make this work, now to make this work, we want to go to our theme builder and use a global footer and the reason I'm doing this is if you do it on a global footer or a global header or a custom body that's on every page it will pop up on every page no matter which page they go to and that's kind of what we want today and to get to this you need to go down to your theme builder dashboard Divi theme builder now I've already got a global footer it's a very simple global footer have a look on it our videos about global footer if you want to learn how to do this it's very easy okay once loaded we can go into any module in here to trigger the pop-up it doesn't matter because these are all on the footer it doesn't matter which one you use I guess I'll go ahead and use this image one I'm going to go into it just hit the little cog I'm going to go to our my advanced tab and down to visibility if we go down you're going to see this little switch it says use pop-up now that is only there because we enabled this. Had we not enabled this in the Supreme Extensions, that would not be there. So we need to flip this one to on. Pop-up type, it's a layout. We saved it as a layout to our library. So let's find it. And it was called cookie. There it is down the bottom there. I want it to trigger as soon as the page loads. So I'm going to trigger on page load use as cookie consent this option is not previewable in the visual builder but it'll be there when you do and if you hit the little question mark it says here you can choose whether this is a cookie consent pop-up or not and this will tell your browser that you're consenting to cookies which is great so I'm going to say yes to that close trigger well you can click anywhere outside the pop-up and it'll close and you've also got a button in there that you can close it with don't want to auto close it you can do it on time if you want to do that now cookie expiry at the moment that's set to 30 days so if they come back within 30 days it's not going to pop up again if you want to pop it up after five days just put five in there I'm going to put zero in there and it'll pop up every time they go on the page now I wouldn't do this for a live site but I'm going to do it because we need to view it every time we refresh the page today so set the cookie expiry to the amount of days you'd like to hold on to the cookie for. Remember if you put that to five, it won't show that pop-up to the same person for five days. Entrance and exit animation, you've got plenty to choose from. I'm just going to leave mine as the default fade in, fade out. That's fine. Now the position. Center would be okay, pops up in the center, but I really want it on the bottom to just sort of pop up. So I'm going to say bottom center and I'm also going to say fixed because I want it to stay there whether they're scrolling up or down the site or not now we can hit use full width I've got to use it's a full width section anyways but so let's go ahead and hit the full width and we'll show the overlay which will dark out the background until they click on and accept the cookie notification now you don't have to show a close button, in fact let's just take this off and then when they hit the OK button it'll close it for them. So I think we're good to go once you're happy with all your settings there. Simply hit the save, go to the bottom here, save the page changes and we can exit out and make sure that all our changes are saved here on the theme builder page okay well let's go back to our site now and once I refresh this page our little pop-up when the page reloads should pop up down the bottom there and there it is 
and you hit the OK and it'll disappear. Let's make sure it's going to pop up on another page. Let's try our privacy policy page. And there it is. That's great. Now, because I put the cookies to zero, it's going to happen every time. Had I put this to five or ten or whatever days, it wouldn't have popped up again for me. Somebody else had visited, it would have popped up for them. Only other thing is, it's a little wider than I kind of would have liked it. Now you can go back to your theme library. So if we go to dashboard, down to Divi, to the library, this is where all our setups are saved. You can edit it from within the library. Just click on, click on whichever one you want to edit hit the edit button and we can do it on the front end so we can see it as it actually appears there now I just want to take padding down a little bit still a little bit deep below that button there so let's take that down take this down and we'll take this down when you're happy with the look oh, that's a little bit there we go something like that when you're happy with the look at it, just hit the little purple button, save the changes. Once they save, we can go back to our page and refresh the page. And there we go, that's a little more shallow. I like the look of that. And there's our little cookie consent pop up. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to add a little cookie consent pop up to your Divi theme using the Divi Supreme modules plugin. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.